Robbies, it's Mrs. Robinson. Hey, guess what? We are on bear hug number 22 and it is a review week. So let's go back and, and talk a minute about last week. So last week was a little bit different. We were on bear hug number 21. Um, Mrs. K taught that lesson in person. So if you were able to be there, that's wonderful. I did not teach the lesson, but we went over the Bible verse, which was 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Christ died for our sins. He was raised on the third day. So that was from bear hug number 21. And if you have been practicing that, that is wonderful. I would love to hear that on Zoom uh, later on this week. And that was all, that lesson was all about how Jesus loves Mary of Bethany. Okay. And I also, I taught on the video bear hug, special bear hug number four. And that was all about Easter, which we just celebrated not that long ago. All right. And so we had kind of two bear hugs going on at the same time last week. So special bear hug number four was optional. If you didn't get to it, that's okay. Um, I hope everybody got to bear hug number 21 with 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. But special bear hug number four was optional. If you got to it, that's wonderful. Um, if not, that's okay too. So remember the Bible memory verse that went along with special bear hug number four, if you got around to it, was Matthew 28, 6. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. So if you got um, to special bear hug number four and practicing that Bible verse, I would love to hear that along with the Bible verse for uh, bear hug number 21. If you If you didn't get to that, it's okay. So whatever, whatever you got to, I, Mrs. Robinson was a little bit tricky and I, I gave you two bear hugs, um, for last week. So whatever you got to is fine. And then this week is bear hug number 22 and it's the review of unit five. Now remember boys and girls that, uh, unit five has been all about the core truth that Jesus came to save us. And we've learned so much about how Jesus did come to save us. So um, the Bible verse that goes along with this review week is 1 John 4, 14. And it goes like this. The Father has sent his Son to be the Savior. Yeah, so um, keep practicing that. 1 John 4, 14. And... Um, I have a little game to play as review. I really like to play games with you, with you guys. I, I miss being with you in person, but it's been fun to play on, um, uh, through video as well. Fun to play the games. I hope you're playing along with me and having fun. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, we'll go back through and review what we've already learned and, uh, it'll, it'll be fun to do it with a game. Okay. So let's go. Okay, so Cubbies, we're going to play a game like we've played before where I have a little buzzer kind of thing. I think the last time we might have done a, a boing kind of sound. I think this one is a doorbell, like a ding dong. Okay, so we'll go back through and review the stories about how Jesus came to save us um, all through um, reviewing unit number five. And when I pause and I'm looking for you to fill in the blank, I'll do, okay? And if you know the answer, shout it out, okay? To whoever is with you or you shout it out to the, the TV or the computer or the phone screen, okay? Just pretend like Mrs. Robinson can hear you. Maybe I can hear you from here. I don't know. Um, all right, so let's have fun, okay? So Cubbies, during the last days while Jesus lived here on earth, he went on a special journey from Jericho to Jerusalem. So let's remember about his trip, okay? The first stop on the trip was near Jericho. While Jesus was walking, he heard a voice calling his name. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me, cried Bartimaeus. Well, Jesus knew that Bartimaeus could not. What is it, Cubbies? Do you remember? I'll give you a picture clue. 
Jesus remember, or Jesus, of course, knew that Bartimaeus could not what? Do you see him? Bartimaeus could not see. That's right, Cubbies. Bartimaeus was blind. He could not see. Well, Jesus, of course, he loved Bartimaeus. Bring Bartimaeus to me. Jesus told the people. Bartimaeus believed what did Bartimaeus believe? Bartimaeus believed that Jesus is God's... What? Bartimaeus believed that Jesus is God's... Son! That's right, cubbies! Bartimaeus believed that Jesus is God's son. Bartimaeus believed that Jesus is God's son and the promised Savior. He threw off his cloak, jumped to his feet, and came to Jesus. When Jesus saw how much Bartimaeus believed in him, Jesus said, Bartimaeus, your faith has made you well. And all of a sudden, Bartimaeus could see. Praise God, he shouted. All right, well, the second stop on Jesus' journey was beside a great big tree along the busy road. And remember, Jesus stopped beneath the tree and looked up, and he knew that someone was up there in that tree. Do you know who was in that tree? Do you remember? It was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, remember? There he is. Cubbies, do you remember Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He collected... What did he collect from the people? Zacchaeus collected what from the people? I'll give you a picture clue. Do you see it? That's right. Zacchaeus collected money from the people. Well, unfortunately, Zacchaeus kept some of the money for himself, and that was stealing, which, of course, is a sin. The people were not very happy with Zacchaeus. But Zacchaeus, he wanted to see Jesus, but he was very short. Zacchaeus couldn't see anything. So Zacchaeus climbed way, way, way up in a big... What, cubbies? Zacchaeus climbed way, way up in a big... What was it? That's right, a big tree next to the road so that he could see Jesus. Yeah, so there he is now. Now he can see Jesus. Well, Zacchaeus, he was actually surprised when Jesus stopped below the tree and called to him. Zacchaeus, Jesus called, quick, come down. I must stay at your house today. Jesus had come to save Zacchaeus from sin, just as he saves us. Well, Jesus walked with Zacchaeus to his house, and that day, Zacchaeus believed that Jesus is God's son, the Savior. He wanted to love and obey God. I will give back the money that I took from the people, and I will give back even more, he promised. Well, our next stop on Jesus' journey is the town of Bethany. Jesus had dinner with the disciples and his special friends, Simon, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And after dinner, Mary did something very special for Jesus. She brought a jar of perfume, and it cost a lot of money. Carefully, Mary opened the jar of perfume and poured it on... Who did she pour it on? Do you see, Cubbies? That's right. She carefully poured it on Jesus. Then Mary washed Jesus' feet with her hair. Some of the disciples did not like what Mary did. Why did you waste that perfume by pouring it on Jesus' feet? They asked. Leave her alone, Jesus said. What she has done is beautiful. Jesus knew that Mary was showing Jesus how much she... Hmm. Jesus knew that Mary was showing Jesus how much she... What him? How much she loved him. That's right, cubbies. 
Jesus also knew that soon he would die, and Mary's gift had made his body ready to be buried in the tomb. All right, so let's get ready to travel with Jesus to his last stop on the journey, Jerusalem. This was the most important trip anyone has ever taken. Cubbies, a lot of people love Jesus, but there were some others who did not believe he is God. Those men, they hurt Jesus, and then they put Jesus on a... See a picture clue. What did they put Jesus on? Those men hurt Jesus, and then they put Jesus on a cross. That's right. Boys and girls, even though Jesus never, ever sinned or had done anything wrong at all, Jesus did die on the cross. Jesus died on the cross to pay the punishment for our sin. The Bible says that all have sinned, and that includes me and you. Do you remember your Bible verse? For um for this week, it says, The Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. That's 1 John 4.14. 4, Cubbies, this verse means that God sent Jesus to die on the cross so that He could be your Savior. Well, after Jesus died, His friends put His body in a tomb. A big rock door was rolled in front of the tomb, and soldiers guarded the tomb to make sure no one tried to move the big rock door. This part of our story is very sad, but this is not the end of the story. Something happened after three days, right Cubbies? And Cubbies, this is the most exciting part of our story. This is the best part. One, two, three days passed and then Jesus came again. One, two, three days passed, and then Jesus came what again? Jesus came alive again. That's right. Cubbies, one, two, three days later, and Jesus came alive again. Jesus did not stay dead, right? Cubbies, Jesus came to save us. Jesus can be your savior. All you have to do is trust in Jesus. That means that you need to believe that Jesus died on the cross, right, for your sin, and that he came alive again. He's no longer dead. And cubbies, if we trust in Jesus as our savior, then one day we will go to heaven to live with Jesus forever. Cubbies, Jesus showed us he loves us by dying on the cross for sin, can you think of ways that we can show Jesus we love him? I bet you can think of lots of different ways. Cubbies, I would love for you to talk to somebody, a, a brother or a sister or a, a grown-up of sorts, and tell them some of your ideas about how we can show Jesus that we love him. Yeah, I would love for you to do that. So, Cubbies, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson, and I hope um, uh, that you enjoyed the review game. I had so much fun on this end, and um, I hope that you uh, have learned a bunch from this unit. This is such an important unit, all about how Jesus came to save us. It's so important. And Cubbies, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to Mrs. Robinson. I would love to hear you, uh, hear from you, and I hope to see you on Zoom soon and I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you cubbies. Bye-bye.